Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is actually going to be one of my first ranking videos. Um, I am going to be ranking the top five um, prettiest packaging. Um, so basically I have accumulated some brands that I feel like has some of the prettiest packaging um, that is in my collection. So we're not basing this off of quality of the product or how well it performs, merely just the pure packaging. Now, I know obviously we want the products to perform well too, right? We want the whole package, if you will. We want them to look pretty, we want them to perform well, and we want them to be I would like to think economical. Now, so what the products that I've chosen, um, some of them are, they kind of range from, I wouldn't say low end, but they range from more economical to very bougie. Um, and I'm not basing them, like I said, off of how well they perform, although the items that are at the top, I would say most of these perform very well. Um, I will let you know what, in my opinion, doesn't. But, so anyways, if that's what you want to watch, then please stick around. All right, so let's get started. At number five spot, let me get everything all prepped. I have actually chosen Gucci, um, Gucci packaging. So as you can see, this is the bronzer. Um, this is a beautiful, uh, like kind of this like Tiffany blue type of color with, you know, the gold, um, overlay, whatever you want to call it. Um, let's see. You can see that we have beautiful embossing on the inside as well. This lifts up and you got this pretty little Gucci brush that of course nobody's going to use because nobody uses these brushes. Um, so beautiful bronzer. This is the Eclat Soleil 02 bronzing powder and then it also comes in this nice little velvet pouch so you can protect it from being scratched now this is a product that is probably the only one on this list that i can say i don't necessarily love the performance of it um the color is a little bit off sorry that was cat okay hair i feel like the color is a little bit off which is my fault i probably should have chosen a different color but it does look a little bit patchy and definitely not worth the price but this is stunning packaging um that i really do enjoy now the other gucci product i have is this lipstick again look how beautiful that is i mean this has got some like heavy weight to it slim slim bullet lipstick and this is in, let's see, Rouge de Beauté Brilliant, Sally Soft Honey. So these two, Gucci for packaging, goes into my number five spot. All right, so number four spot. So again, how I've been ranking these things is, you know, hopefully I would have multiples of these products so I would have a good understanding of what their packaging looks like. Um, also, I ranked it based off of like the brand as a whole. So like, um, you know, some products may be in like basic packaging, other products may be in more, you know, decorative packaging. And that's definitely where this next product falls um, or this next brand falls, I should say. This is Melt Cosmetics. So Melt Cosmetics is um, kind of this like really fun, um, I would call them a lot more like grungy type of company. Um, a lot of things surround like marijuana. Um, like if you look at a lot of their palettes, like I have the Mary Jane palette, I have Smoke Sessions palettes, there's like a 420 palette. So a lot of it is around that type of culture. Um, so why I chose this for the number four spot is because although, I mean, I will show you this packaging, um, I feel like their eyeshadow palettes are like where it's at. And I will give you a great example of that. Let me get this out of its outer packaging. Um, so this was a, these are companion palettes and I believe they were from the 2018 um, holiday collection. That was before I really got into Melt. Um, but these were like, two palettes that were super, super sought after. They were collector's addiction editions and um, they actually just re-released both of them. Um, this first one is the Vita palette, if you can see that right there. So look how pretty, pretty this packaging is where it's like kind of this soft matte, but then you have this raised glossy 
um, texture, like the Dio de los, uh, Dia de los Muertos, um, like packaging style. And then the companion palette is the Muerte palette and you put them together and they make this beautiful skull. Um, so again, this one is a lot more of the um, kind of more life because that's what Vita stands for. Um, this like life color gives you all the colorful vibes. And then the companion palette Muerte is death. So that is... Sorry, I'm just looking. I got a sale. Yay! Who doesn't love sales? Um, that is what this palette looks like. Oh my gosh, love it so much. Um, I actually have a reels drafted of swatching this one because it's the newest to my collection. Um, so another packaging. This is like one of their digital dust. I believe this also came out in this collection as well. Um, this one is the Illumination. Exactly. But so this is an example of like kind of more of a basic type of um component so the i felt like the eyeshadows had like most of the eyeshadow palettes are beautiful packaging this is more of a basic packaging but then i mean look at the outer you know we saw the outer carton on this and then if you look at the actual embossing of it again it's another skull from the dia de los muertos kind of style sugar skull beautiful that's this is why Melt has the number four spot in like the best packaging that I have in my collection. All right, so moving to number three, the number three spot for some of the prettiest packaging has to go to ColourPop. So this is definitely more of the affordable side of things. Um, I Again, I would say more of their eyeshadow palettes are in like kind of the more graphic type of style that definitely are a lot more aesthetically pleasing, but they have kind of branched out into different, um, you know, like uh, bronzers and blushes and different shape packaging, which is very cute. Um, but again, I feel like the eyeshadow palettes are where it's at. Um, so an example is like this Baroque palette, you know, kind of this very abstract, um, you know, grungy type of floral, which if you haven't seen the Baroque palette, it's a very pretty um kind of this like blue gray type of color then we move into some of their um collaborations so this one was with bambi and oh, look how cute this little thumper palette is just very pretty retro kind of look and again if you've never seen this palette that's what it looks like And then I think one of my favorite palettes that they have, I mean, they have so many, like I like the Hocus Pocus palette, the Hocus Pocus one. I did not like the Hocus Pocus two, but the Hocus Pocus one looks really cool. Um, but another one that I really, really enjoy is At Forest Sight. Um, this is Raw Beauty Christie collaboration. And again, just kind of the soft matte with this like abstract floral, um, like forest looking one with like the raised mushrooms. Um, I believe this one is sold out. It, it did restock once. Um, I don't know if it's going to come back, but I mean, like, that's the interior packaging and that is the color story of it all. Super beautiful. They definitely do a very good job of trying to um, really represent the color story in the packaging, which does really, you know, really catches my eye. So that's why ColourPop has the number three spot. All right, so the number two spot in my collection, and I feel like this is only number two just because I only have a few products from this brand, um, but based off of my research with other products that they have, it looks like the whole range of stuff is like super duper pretty. Um, so that is going to be actually Kaleidos. So this is my Kaleidos Futurism 3 Astro Pink Palette. As you can see, it's kind of a, a, like this very abstracty, like almost geode type of style um, and how it opens like this, which I don't have any packaging that opens up like that. And then this is what the color story looks like. So again, the packaging kind of continues onto the inside of everything and super duper beautiful. And then the other palette I have, and I actually, now that I think of it, I actually have three colliders products. One of them's uh, a contour palette that I would have to say, I mean, it's cool packaging, but it's not as pretty as these. Um, but this is the Kaleidos Flower Punk palette, kind of the mirrored, like grungy, almost like Alice in Wonderland type of theme. Um, if it was like Alice in Wonderland was in a jungle, 
I would have to say. Um, so anyways, this palette, actually, this whole thing removes as the mirror. And then this is the interior of it. Again, this kind of soft matte type of look. The mirror you can, you know, put, you can slide up, you can take off. This is what the back looks like. So again, super duper pretty. So that's why Kaleidos has the number two spot. And apparently I'm like super terrible at counting, but top five sounds better than top six. So I'm gonna do an honorable mention. And that is actually gonna be in skincare um, because you know, skincare is nice to have pretty packaging too. So uh, that, this is actually going to go to um, Glow Recipe. I think Glow Recipe has adorable packaging um so for instance this is the glow recipe Stra strawberry smooth bha and aha salicylic, salicylic serum for clarifying and retexturing so again it's strawberries so it's in the shape of a strawberry um then you also have this avocado melt retinol eye cream um so it's like kind of you know maybe in the shape of an avocado if they could do the best um so super pretty packaging i've had their pineapple I think it's their vitamin C serum before that's in the shape of a pineapple, um, you know, like a pineapple and stuff like that. So I definitely had to give honorable mention to Glow Recipe and their um, skincare products. All right. And so the number one spot that I feel is well deserving and I give it to this company um, because everything that I've gotten from them and I have almost everything from the from the um, company um, because they are newer so they don't have as many products but I have almost everything um, but even the stuff that they had just launched that I don't quite I don't have yet um, looks stunning and I'm actually gonna give that to Auric. So Auric is Samantha Ravindal's brand. Um, she is another really large beauty content creator on YouTube, um, kind of influencer. And when her brand launched, like it's simple, but it's so stunning. So, I mean, this is just an example of like outer packaging, again, kind of the soft matte box, this like really pretty abstract geode with the raised gold um, emblem. Just, I mean, stunning. And then this is actually the Glow Lust. So this is what the bottle looks like. It is glass. Um, again, like super simple but sleek packaging. I mean, you can tell these like super been used. I haven't, I didn't clean them up beforehand. Um, but then like, you know, the cap. If you watch her video on how she like designed this bottle, apparently, um, so the cap is a little bit difficult or it's like got some tension on it, but apparently that was made on purpose so that the cap would always stay tight on the bottle. Um, but I mean, just look at the, look at the detailing of it all with the Org brand name right here. So, so gorgeous. So this is the, um, what is it? The Glow Lust. So the Radiant Luminizer and I have mine in the shade Morganite. So the other products that I have, um, are her Glow Lust. No, not Glow Lust. Um, Smoke Reflex, I should say. So this was the holiday packaging. Again, kind of that softer geo look, um, and this is how they came. Again, you have these other secondary packaging, just as pretty. And then this is what the actual product looks like. So this went along with their holiday theme. So um, you'll see what the like traditional one looks like, but the holiday one was like the white cap with the gold and just really simple little, you know, container. This one, you can open it up. They have the topper shade right here, the glitter topper shade with a small mirror. And then you open this up and then let's see, do I want to make it a mess? Sure, why not? I keep these little topper things on, but then there's the, the um, cream shadow underneath. And even just like, I mean, this one has been used, but it has kind of that whipped te texture and like little dollop look, if you will. So this was the holiday one. And then this is their like normal everyday uh, packaging. So the black with the gold, again, same concept with the topper shade right there. And then on the bottom, they have the cream 
um, cream shadows. So, and then, I mean, I'll try to pop up some pictures, some of the items that I don't have, um, but they have this like really pretty um, like lip gloss or balm, if you will, kind of the same similar packaging to this, but when you open this up, if I can get it, if you open this up, it's actually this like little jade spatula that when you open the bottom up, that's where the balm is and you put that on. And then they just came out with eyelashes, which I'm not a huge fan of eyelashes, but you know, the, the packaging was beautiful. So it's very similar packaging, um, but they actually have two of the eyelashes um, that is like a little compact. So it's probably like that big. You open it up. Um, there's the half lash part of it and then you open up the, um, the one underneath so again similar to this where it has two different openings um, and then there's the full lashes so they just look beautiful even though I'm not a lash person I, I don't think I'm gonna be purchasing the lashes um, but still just like a beautiful beautiful concept um, packaging I'm sure is just as stunning so that is why Auric has the number one spot in my top five ranked packaging products if you will so let me know, what is your favorite brand packaging? Um, do you, are some of yours on my list as well? Um, I would definitely love to hear from you down below. Please consider subscribing before you go. This is definitely, um, you know, I'm trying to build up this channel as best I can. And you know, more subscribers, the better, but only if you truly enjoy this content. I don't want you subscribing to something that you don't enjoy. Um, Please make sure that you like this video, make a little comment, something like that. You can definitely find all my socials down below. And with that, I truly appreciate you watching and I'll see you in the next video.